as with everything, there's trade-offs. And so we'll just talk about each, each of these works, what the pros and cons are. Uh, yeah. Single SIG is probably the one we'd recommend for most people, especially people starting out. Um, it's just one thing to back up. It's just a recovery phrase. It's very easy to recover and spend from, but it does mean you have this central point of failure where if someone gets you 12 words, your Bitcoin is gone. Um, so again, great for practicing, um, great for a lot of people still just in general, but it's different for everyone's threat model. And you need to kind of think about what are you more worried about losing your coins due to complexity or due to them being stolen. So if you kind of want to boost your, your game a little bit, you're an advanced user, you're ready to build some more security into your system. You can use something like multi-sig where instead of just those 12 words, let's say you have a three of five wallet where there's five keys geographically distributed and you need three of them to spend your Bitcoin. Um, of course, it's going to be more complicated setup, but it's also going to be harder to, 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 to steal or for someone to get all three of your keys in order to spend. With multi-sig also comes some extra challenges with backing up. You need to make sure you have your, your wallet config and all the things uh, surrounding around that. If you lose it, then you need all five keys to restore your wallet. And it, yeah, there's just a lot of things that can go wrong. And so more security. Um, and again, everything is trade-off. So it's also harder to back up. And I think you just need to be, no matter what you choose, you just need to be very sure that you know what would happen in any scenario, how you would get access to your keys, uh, to your Bitcoin, if you lost one of your keys or pretend you lost two of your five multi-sig keys and what would you do in that scenario what if your phone broke and your wallet config's no, no longer there um so it, it just needs to be thought about by each person like what are they concerned about what is their threat model and just practice make sure you know what you're doing in case you know something happens